Hi, this is Billy Joe Anderson of the Anderson Gang, and I'd like to tell you a little about one of my inspirations in country music, a legendary Tex Hooper, the original outlaw, the real deal. In 1951, Tex Hooper exploded onto the Nashville scene, and over the next 30 years, he wrote and performed some of the most heartbreaking ballads ever recorded. And every one of his songs involved two things, hard drinking and easy women. In real life, Tex was as rough and dangerous as the songs he wrote. And in 1985, Tex abruptly retired and disappeared. Some said he'd gone down to Mexico and was living in a bar. Others claimed he'd killed a man in Venezuela. Man, in Nashville there was always a Tex Hooper story floating around. Then, in the year 2001, New York record producer Brooks Arthur tracked down 61-year-old Tex Hooper and convinced him to return to the studio. Uh, Brooks, sorry I'm late. The George Strait session that I was doing ran a little long. Oh, don't worry about it, Gabe. Look through that window, man. There he is. Is that Tex Hooper? That's him. Flesh and blood. My God. Yeah. In a few minutes, we're going to make history. Hey, uh, listen, I heard he was a big booze hound. Is he still drinking? Or? This guy was one of the original outlaws. Yeah, he drank, he spent time in jail, he did everything, you uh -huh. know? But he's a 60-year-old man. Uh, well, you, you're sure that he's off the sauce, right? Yes! Uh, I've got all my money in this album, all right? He's not drinking. I mean, I know you were concerned, so... Well, I don't want you mentioning booze, okay? Okay, done. I won't say it. Good. Mr. Hooper? Yeah, yeah call, call me Tex. Hi, uh, Gabe's here. We're all ready, so I'll tell you what. Why don't we lay one down right now? Yeah, I'd like to do a, a little song called Empty Bed. It's a new one I wrote. Okay, that sounds like a classic. We're rolling. Anytime, Tex. Empty Bed. Tex Hooper. Take one. When I woke up, you were gone. I won't be back, the note said. You took with you all your things. Left me with tears and an empty bed Faded jeans and memories Of the place you laid your head Your aftershave clings in the air And on the sheets of an empty bed Empty bed Where we made love to the small house of the morning Empty bed I'd stroke your chest hairs and laugh and put your jockey shorts on my head Something wrong, Brooks? Oh, no, not that I, I thought I just heard him say jockey shorts. <laughs> we would walk hand in hand. They're so in love, people said. Some folks thought you were my son. But now I sleep in an empty bed. You said our love would always last. And if it was legal, we would wed You were my boy and I am man Now I'm stuck in an empty bed Empty bed Where we would gently kiss and hold each other Empty bed I would reach around and lightly touch your mustache Your wrestling trophies are all gone Your riding mower ain't in the shed Your beard trimmer's just a memory A memory in an empty bed So I'll never sleep alone 
can't live without you So instead, they'll find me lying on the floor With a smoking gun and an empty bed Wow, that was great, Tex. Oh, thank you very much. Bravo. That was really great. An instant hit. I've worked in this business a long time. Tex, fantastic. Oh, thank you. That means a lot to me. That one came from the heart. A man brought down by the love of a woman. What woman? The woman in the song, Tex. Oh, yeah, in the song, sure. (laughs) What's next? Well, the next song I'd like to record, if you don't mind, is uh, a song about the real heroes of America. The noble men who work with their backs, you know, not doctoring or lawyering, or just plain regular folk who make this country great. Well, that sounds like classic Tex Hooper, sir. What's it called? Manhole Inspector. Manhole Inspector. Fantastic. Manhole Inspector, Tex Hooper. Let's take one. <laughs> Don't want to be a doctor. A lawyer or a tax collector Just want to do the thing that I love And that's a manhole inspector Checking out the manholes Yeah Some fellas go to the racetrack Betting on the big trifecta Ain't got time for no gambling boys Cause I'm a manhole inspector Boss man I'm putting in for overtime Checking out the manholes there's another one. Look at the rim on that one. Ha! Don't got me a girlfriend, cause you know I just neglect her. I'm too busy working night and day as a manhole inspector. Even eating my lunch down in the manhole. I'm going down, chowing down, getting down, round and round, chicka chicka down, now staying down, all around, make a sound, downtown, bowing down, brown town, southbound to the manhole. Some fellas talk to the ladies. Hey, Gabe. Tell them that I'm moving director. Yeah. Does this song strike you a little odd? No, why would it strike me odd? Never mind. Well, let me see if I fit inside this sweet one. Oh. Oh. Oh, there I'm in. I'm in. Oh, it feels good. Just stay there till I get comfortable, okay? Now I can move. Oh, yeah, it's a tight fit. Just just relax. I'm not gonna hurt you. Oh, oh, ha! Okay, did you hear that? What? I don't know. He just told the manhole to relax. I think he's talking about a man's ass. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I don't want this song to be misconstrued, you know. I mean, the, the, the people that listen to country music, they're a traditional lot, you know, very conservative. They... You're just a little paranoid because you got a lot of money sunk into this. Yeah, you're probably right. Ladies, I don't got time for you. I don't think you got a manhole. <laughs> but remember earlier when he said he wanted to eat a manhole? I mean, why would you eat a manhole? <laughs> I mean, I don't know, but I think he's just talking about manholes, like in the street. That's what the song's about. Yeah, I guess you're right. Manhole Inspector. Good one, Tex. Yeah, that was great, Tex. Awesome. Oh, thank, oh, thank you, you, fellas. I appreciate that. Yeah, just one thing, Tex. Um, I, I just well, who wrote that song? I did. You did. Um, well, my only concern is I, I hope the song doesn't get misconstrued. Well, you know what? I think the meaning of the song is real clear. Okay. Okay. Well, if you say so, sure. Uh, what, uh, what's next? Well, I wouldn't mind, uh, doing the song I'm planning on singing at the Country Music Awards. Oh, yes, that's very important. I meant to talk to you about that. I bought a 60-second spot directly after your song, and uh, it was very, very expensive, but I think it's going to be key to album sales. I think it's going to be big. I feel a little nervous. I don't mind telling you. I haven't sung in front of, uh, folks for about 10 years now, and, uh... Believe me, there's no reason to be nervous. These guys love you. It's going to be great. What, what are you thinking of playing? Well, I'd like to do a little song called, uh, Texas on a Saturday Night. Texas? on a Saturday night. They're going to love that in Nashville, right? Yeah, let's hope so. Fantastic. Okay, let's put it down. Texas on a Saturday night. Roll it, Gabe. We're rolling. I 
spent some time in a prison, 30 years minus a day. Cause I shot a man in a barroom brawl when he tried to take my lover away. One day soon I'm going back to that bar and I'm gonna have my way. Cause one of those dirty low down sons of bitches is gonna have to pay for me to get slack jawed, come drunk. Texas on a Saturday night. Did he just say come drunk? Uh, no, I think he said become drunk. It sounded like come drunk. Got no, no, no. Than a Wesson. <laughs> yeah, okay. Hiding neath my coat. Gonna drink enough of jism now to make a root beer flow. Uh, I think you were right. Okay, cut. Yeah, yeah. Text. Cut text. Do you, want, do you want me to do that one again? No. No, no, we're good. No, we just got a little technical problem in the booth, Will. We'll be with you in a sec. Oh my god, Tex Hooper's gone gay. Yeah, it kind of sounds that way. Yeah. <sighs> this is bad news. I mean, I have nothing against gay guys, but the country music fan traditionally, you know, does not like songs that have a lot of, you know, uh, jizz drinking in them and stuff. This is bad. I got a half a million dollars in this album. Well, what are we going to do? I don't know what we're going to do. I got to think. Well, whatever we do, we got to do it quick. <sighs> we got to stall him. I got an idea. Tex! Oh, uh, yeah. Tex, uh, do you have any uh, songs without words, you know? Yeah, yeah sure, I got, uh... An instrumental is called Heartbreak Number 52. Oh, great. Why don't, we, why don't we do that? How long is that? About 2.30, 2.45. Perfect. Can we do it for 15, 20 minutes? Play the song for 15 or 20 minutes. Yeah, that'd be perfect. Heartbreak Number 52, the 20-minute version. Take one. We're rolling. Brooks, what are we going to do? I don't know. We'll let him play out this song. I, we'll have a 20-minute instrumental on the album, I guess. And then we'll have to figure out the other 30 minutes. Huh. You gotta admit it, though, man. The guy is a master with the guitar, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Dr. Tucker's cock, cause it dared me to. What? I threw a dog in a men's room, too. By the time. Hey, oh, hey, Tex, okay. Cut. Tex, that's a cut. Right, right, Tex, uh, I thought this was an instrumental. Well, it was, but I, I thought it got a little boring, you know, a little dull. Tried to spice it up. No, it wasn't boring, Tex. It was good. Uh, listen, Tex, uh, I've noticed there's kind of a theme running through these songs. Yeah, yeah, there was a theme about uh, the working men and things like that. Right. Let me ask you something, Tex. What have you been doing since your retirement, anyway? Oh, drifting a little bit here and there, picking up a hitchhiker now and again. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, let me let me look through your list of songs here, uh, see if there's anything that we can use at all. Uh, family Values. That sounds good. What's that about? That's about a, you know, family of uh, 14-year-old Cuban boys that I stayed with for a while. Yeah, let's not do that. Uh, what about this one? Uh, I'm packing. What's that about, uh, guns? Uh, no. No. Oh, what about this one? Uh, uh, jamming with the fellas. That singing? No. No. All right. Oh, here's one. Uh, me, Jim Beam, and Jack Daniels. That's about drinking, right? No, that's not about drinking. What are you talking about? It's Jim Beam and Jack Daniels. Of course it's about drinking. No, that's not about drinking. Okay. Uh, jeez, let me ask you a question there, uh, Tex, uh, uh, how's, how's your wife Madge doing anyway? Well, she, well, she passed, passed away, away uh, last summer. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm no, sorry to hear right. that because I think of all those old songs that you dedicated to Madge, Girl in the Gingham Dress, I'm Falling in Love with You All Over Again. They were so beautiful. Well, I got a new one that I dedicated to Madge. Oh, well, that'd be great. What's that one called? It's called I Stopped Living the Lie. I Stopped... Yeah, let's not record that one. Uh, I'll tell you what, do you have any songs on this on this list about women? Sure, yeah, there's Love of a Woman. Love of a Woman, what is that about? It's about loving a woman. Oh, that's great. Loving a woman? Yeah. Like, in a sexual way? Yeah, it gets pretty randy, I have to admit. Okay, good. well, that's, that sounds great. You're telling me that this song, then, is about sexually being in love with a woman? Yeah, yeah sure. Fantastic. Yeah, Let's that put that down, that sounds great. Love of a Woman, and listen. Yeah. Text. Feel free to go as long as you want on this. If you want to go 20, 30 minutes on this song, that'd be fantastic. Yeah, stretch it out. Okay, okay I'll, I'll give it a shot. shot. Okay, right. let's do it. Tex Hooper, Love of a Woman, take one. 
There's nothing better than the love of a woman And by woman, of course, I mean a man Okay, I should have it Looks like we're going to cut it there, text or? Text, text, text Listen, uh, pal uh, we got a problem here. What's what's the matter? Something wrong with the instruments? No, there's nothing wrong with the instruments. You know what I think it is? I think it, it's people are gonna want to hear the old Tex Hooper. You know uh, what we've got to do? We got to do a mix of the new and the old. Yeah. You the, think so? Yes. We we got to do the new, which is the 30 minute instrumental, and then the old, which is a collection of those great Tex Hooper songs from the old days. That's a great idea. You know where he. Where he drank and he liked the ladies. <laughs> well, I don't know if I could do that. Okay, forget the ladies. But but what about those old songs you used to have, Tex, that, that had nothing to do with sex? You know? Hey, what about Honky Tonk? That was a song that was for the kids. It's kind of a kind of a novelty song. <laughs> yeah, it was great. It, it had that spirit of innocence. That's what we need on this. We need on this album a spirit of innocence, and that's a very cute song. <laughs> I tell you, I do recall little fellers enjoying that song. Oh, yeah, it was hilarious. I loved that when I was a kid. All kids love Honky Tonk. we, we got to put something on the album for kids. Well, I'll, I'll give it a shot. All right, uh, let's get set up here, and we're rolling. Honky Tonk, take one. <laughs> Welcome, Welcome to the Honky Tonk, friend. Let me show you around. Cause there's a lot of crazy characters around here Oh, look at Myrtle Watson She's proud of her peach jam They gave her first place at the county fair But she don't give a hell, everybody Welcome to the Honky Tonk! <laughs> I got three words for you Greatest no Hits ribbon. Album Yes, that's it! That's what this is! This is a Greatest Hits I'm Album! We get them to do all the old ones, Girl in the Gingham right. Dress Right, right, oh, what, Revenor? Revenor! <laughs> it hasn't worked in three months Why, there's old man Jenkins He likes to tip his glass He'll drink so much a slip off, off his jewel and fall right on, on his head. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Honky Tonk. All right. <laughs> Boy, he's fond of the oh, great. Fantastic. Is this is the song he's going to do at the CMAs. Yeah, this is it. This is it. <laughs> now help yourself to some of that love lemonade. This song, yeah. It's homemade. It's going to be all right, buddy. It's going to be Here all right. Here it comes, right. half step. Ow. Ow. There's it's Virgil Thompson, the cheapest man on the block. He never picked up a check in his life, but he fucked me with his nine inch. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Honky Town. And he changed it. He changed it. He calls his mouth a pussy. He calls him out. Okay, Tex, I'm leaving. Goodbye. What? I'm leaving. I call that one Honky Town 2000. Well, Tex Hooper did appear at the CMAs that August and perform Manhole Inspector. Man, he brought down the house. They loved him. And in doing so, Tex Hooper pioneered a new breed of country music, country gay. <laughs> of course, I'm just funning you. They didn't care for him one bit. Well, good night and may God bless you.